What's up, fight fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. This is Lady J, and it's time to take it to the ring. Okay, so I know my voice is crap. Thanks, immune system. Appreciate it. But the news must go on. Here are the headlines for your fight news. AEW Revolution Ticks. Bola Call-Up. New ROH title match. Who's having a Texas death match? Terminus call-ups. Bret Hart fantasy match. So tickets for AEW Revolution went on sale yesterday and I felt left in the dust. All the tickets for this three-day event sold out in minutes. I felt like I'm back trying to get into the virtual queue of Disney's Rise to the Resistance. Oh, 2,000 other thumbs were faster than yours. Too bad, so sad. Try again. We did get tickets for the Fan Fest, but now I'm gonna have to go find secondhand tickets. One day, I'll be cool enough to get a media pass or even cool enough to figure out the whole pre-sale ticket offers. Ugh, I do. So I gotta follow Russell Tix on Twitter because they had pre-sale tickets. Lee Moriarty is bound for the Battle of Los Angeles. Wrestling headline shared that the next entrance in the PWG Battle of Los Angeles 2022 tournament has been announced. Pro Wrestling Guerrilla announced that Moriarty is confirmed for that 2022 BOLA tournament. He joins PWG world champion Bandito, Jack Cartwheel, Daniel Garcia, Black Dauros, Leo Rush, Kevin Blackwood, Alex Shelley, and Jonah Rock. Moriarty responded to PWG's announcement and wrote, BOLA, this is the one for me. I cannot verbally express how hyped I am. This will be Moriarty's BOLA debut. Ring of Honor title match? GCW Game Changer Wrestling announced Thursday night that Jonathan Gresham will be defending the ROH World Championship against AJ Gray at Blood on the Hills and will be contested under the pure rules. Jonathan Gresham became the ROH champion after defeating Jay Lethal at Ring of Honor's final battle. ROH is currently on a major hiatus until April 22. We're hoping for a nice rebrand and comeback. But Blood on the Hills is Friday, December 17th, was yesterday, but this is the card and this is why you have to catch up on it if you didn't watch it. Blake Christian versus Alex Zane, Tony Deppin versus Nick Wayne, Jonathan Gresham versus AJ Gray for that ROH World Championship match, Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green versus Bussy, which is Effie and Ellie Catch, Jacob Fatu versus Matthew Justice, the Briscoe Brothers, Jay and Mark Briscoe versus Brody King and PCO for the GCW Tag Team Championship match. Atticus Coger versus Jordan Oliver in a no rope barbed wire match. Blood on the Hills, don't miss it. Tell me what you thought about it. Impact is having a Texas death match. The knockouts title match at Impact Wrestling's Hard to Kill will now be a Texas death match. The rematch between Deanna Perrazzo and knockouts champ Mickey James will be awesome. And there will be a no contact clause until the pay-per-view airs. James won the title from Perrazzo back at Bound for Glory in October. So the 2022 Impact Hard to Kill pay-per-view will take place on Saturday, January 8th from the factory in Deep Ellum, Dallas, Texas. 
Here is the most updated card for that event. Triple threat for the Impact World title. We got Matt Cardona versus W. Morrissey versus Moose. Our Texas death match for the Knockouts title featuring Deanna Perrazzo versus the champ, Mickey James. Knockouts Ultimate X, Chelsea Green versus Lady Frost versus Tasha Steeles versus Rosemary versus Raquel Ellering versus Impact Digital Media, Jordan Grace. The winners of that match will receive a future title shot. And then to close up, we have Jonah versus Josh Alexander. Don't miss it. Terminus updates. Okay, Terminus Pro Wrestling has announced that Baron Black is on his way to their inaugural event on January 16th, 2022. If you are a fan of Jonathan Gresham, then you should be following what Terminus is doing. Black joins Jonathan Gresham, Jordan Grace, Tracy Williams, Invictus Cash, Jay Lethal, JDX, Joe Keys, Daniel Garcia, Moose, Bandito, Alex Coughlin, Dante Caballero, Janai Kai, Lee Moriarty, Fred Yehai, Liza Hall, and Kira Hogan. We cannot miss Terminus. Bret Hart fantasy match? So Entertainment Tonight Canada had this story about how Bret Hart will never become a WWE manager or commentator, but he would totally take on Donald Trump at WrestleMania. The Hitman returning to WWE? Wrestling Inc. reported that during a Q&A session at the Canada Walk of Fame event, that he could be persuaded to re-enter the ring, but under some very specific circumstances. Brett said, if there was something where it's like I could wrestle Donald Trump at WrestleMania and Vince McMahon was gonna referee it or something, Hart said, I'd hear it out because it would be funny to hear, but the thought of going in there and wrestling somebody is pretty unlikely. And Brett was like, Bret Hart was a wrestler, not a manager, and I don't want to be remembered as a manager, and so I will never do it, he explained. I was a great wrestler. I don't want to be a referee either, and I don't want to be a commentator because everything I say hurts. Sometimes I am way too honest. So Hart is currently stating that he'll never return to any kind of regular role in the world of wrestling, but can we go down a rabbit hole right now and just imagine like what that would look like? So Bret Hart teaming up with, I don't know, maybe his fellow Canada Walk of Famer Keanu Reeves for like this tag team match against Donald Trump. I mean, who, who would Trump's tag team partner be? Let me know in the comments. That's it for your fight news. Take a moment to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. For more fight news and WrestleCat videos, click the link below. Until next time, I'm Lady J, and keep it lucha.